Something interesting that you can do with the filter effect down here at the very bottom, these three knobs, is affect how we uh, modulate that cutoff point. If we just have the harmony playing as is, we're always going to have that same tone. If we modulate that cutoff point or move it over time, uh, we're going to get a lot more variety in tone uh, and it might be the thing you're looking for. So if you're wanting it to be less static, uh, definitely listen up here. Now the one knob that we're going to discuss right now is the LFO knob. For those of you unfamiliar with an LFO, it's just a waveform below 20 hertz that we can't audibly hear a pitch from, but we can use it to cyclically affect uh, various parameters uh, of a signal. All right, now with the LFO section of the plugin down here, you notice we have five different waveforms we can actually use as an LFO. We have a sawtooth wave, reverse sawtooth wave, triangle wave, square wave, and an omnipolar, omnidirectional square wave. And each of those are going to have a different cyclical effect uh, as you're using it to modulate certain parameters. So if we go back to the filter and we want to modulate it, this actually sets the intensity of the modulation. So how much uh, back and forth you're getting with that cutoff point. All right. How wide is that swing? Let's set it at about 50, okay? That'll kind of give us a good idea of how these different waveforms are affecting our sound. I'm going to play the harmony and switch between all five of these, just so you can kind of hear the differences, and then we'll talk about when you might use them in different situations. All right, so you notice that all of those waveforms really gave us a different shape of our modulation. Okay, so with our sawtooth waves, we noticed kind of a shake in that modulation and then it quickly reduced down. Okay, so we got kind of a punch in the filter and then kind of went back to normal, punch again, and uh, we can ramp up to it or we can ramp down from that punch. The triangle wave is actually probably the most subtle among these. So this is something if you don't want it to really have a punch on the filter at all and you don't really want it to cut in and out very much, you want it to just be very subtle and cyclical. The square wave effect is probably going to give us the most noticeable effect because it's actually going to have a very, very sudden change with this vertical line down the middle. We're going to notice that kind of warp in and out very suddenly. And the omnipolar wave is going to have a similar effect, but it's never going to reach uh, to the bottom of the waveform. So it's never going to completely and suddenly cut us off, but it is going to be a very cut and dry separation. Some other things that you want to consider in the LFO portion of this plugin uh, would be the sync knob down here at the bottom. The sync knob uh, can be turned on or off. If it's off, your rate of modulation, so the rate at which that waveform is moving, uh, is going to be set at a hertz value, okay? Now a hertz value, one hertz is just one cycle per second, if you want to think about it that way. Now if you turn the sync knob on, it's actually going to change that rate to a division value, okay? So a note value for whatever your project settings are set at. So I'm set at uh, 120 beats per minute, uh, and the sync knob turned this value into one sixteenth note, okay? so. Uh, that actually very cleanly matches your rhythm if you're wanting it to not muddy up uh, your rhythm at all. Finally, there's a slider over here at the right of the LFO graph. Uh, and this is kind of affecting uh, right now, actually, what our modulation wheel is going to do for our LFO. So if you're hooked up through a synth controller, if you have this slider all the way up at the top, your modulation wheel will have to go uh, to an upward position for this LFO to take place. Uh, since I don't have my synth controller hooked up right now, uh, I would not be modulating at all. So I actually have to set it down to zero for this to take effect. You can also set this to aftertouch. So that's uh, after you press down the keys on your MIDI controller. If you push down even harder without letting up, then that can actually activate this LFO and you can set it to react to the mod wheel and aftertouch. All right, so that's going to be the end of the filter portion of this plugin for now, uh, for the sake of this tutorial.